This video will demonstrate how a bill of materials table or bomb table may be used to constantly display body data such as mass and volume during modeling operations. By assigning a material property to a body using the supplied customizable expandable library, and if not already in, put the body into a component. Then add in a BOM table, which was adapted from the standard supplied tables. Select a face to position and finally place the table. Then by adding the component into the BOM, custom BOM table component column data is displayed. For BOM usage with existing labels, components are required and bodies should be labeled only when in a component as subsequent moving a body into a component destroys existing labels. To make a custom BOM, first choose a suitable table type. For this example, with just two columns, load the top level BOM. Select quantity, right click, Delete column. Select part number, go to its properties, change the column type from part number to material property, select the new column value, select volume. Repeat the procedure changing the item column into a mass column. And to save this bomb for future use, right click anywhere in the bomb table. Select Save Table As and Save As Type BOM Template. Again, once a component with an assigned body material is added to the BOM, its properties as per table columns are displayed and any change in volume is immediately updated in the BOM table. And also, body faces moved or pulled may be associated with current volume or mass when wanting to achieve a new specific value. For more advanced usage, labels may be used in local areas of interest and to help in iterative change situations. Selections can be made individually or by more productively using the selection tab where faces collinear, same size, etc. Protrusion or depressions can easily be chosen. With the add-on drawing module, additional functionality in modeling is included. Notably, previous face selections can be recalled, thus facilitating faster iterative changes and labels may be flipped to make them readable in any view direction. The pre-planning and early inclusion of constraints and parametrics during a design, especially with concept development, is not necessary with DesignSpark Mechanical. Early decisions on part count and simplicity offer the project's highest yields. Quick and often radical design and embodiment changes is what DesignSpark Mechanical excels at. The combined usage of a measured body mass within a move-pull operation applied to a face selection or using labels to control move-pull operation extents whilst informed of the current body mass offers powerful yet dynamic design optimization procedures that can be applied at any stage of the design or even to a step imported external supplier design where you need to make a change. The demonstration shows a late design change reducing mass from 10 to 9 grams by using the pull command on selected faces control driven by label value modification areas of possible greatest mass reduction are first modified noting mass revision information. A box selection on a wireframe or hidden line view is also a fast method of face selection.
and lastly using a mass measure and change within a pull operation on selected rib heights, the design finally meets the new mass requirement. A center of gravity position can be established and marked by measuring the mass property of a body and whilst displayed, an origin is selected. To identify the origin, it can be renamed and a simple note CG added. The note with the CG origin and the mass bomb can be shown in any drawing view and here an offset section has been put through its origin and the mass bomb displayed. Further model alterations, the addition of mould draft and a small audio grill has been added. Drawing mass bomb is constantly updated to reflect the new changes. A new section GG has been added whilst existing section DD has had multiple offsets added. Section lines may be repositioned by dragging to a vertex snap with an immediate live sectional view change. Here the opening side faces need a slight reposition. These can be quickly changed in a local temporary section. Face positions are changed by, by putting the face plane intersection curves to a new location, by dragging or changing the curve end position and entering a new value. The opposing mould drafts now intersect at the desired plane. The face may also be positioned with the move tool and update the section line position. Choose the display mode to best show the detail. In assemblies, singular objects may have their faces moved or pulled to achieve not only their target mass, but also their assembly target mass at any level. And again, this custom indented bomb has been altered from the default supplied full detail. The column header text shown, file display name, was just a text change from the default header part number. The column property type, part number, is unchanged. I will show two examples for possible usage. First example, in the indented bomb shown to display the total mass, both internal and external files need to be owned by a top level component, which is also included in the bomb. Here, the owning component all has all the other components under it, except for the external file or document, assembly three, external file. This may be added to the bomb either as a single assembly without its items separately listed or these may be individually added and fully indented as shown. Although ballooned items, note leaders, are robustly attached, note that when a bomb structure is altered, ballooned items may need reattaching. Presently, the bomb table isn't correct, as the all mass isn't including the mass of assembly three. In the structure browser, you can see it isn't underneath all. So what needs to happen is you need to drag it to underneath all, then the mass of all changes with the items now indented under all 1.1 to 1.4. As with a single part, any face may be moved or pulled to meet its owning body or owning assembly mass target. 
In this example, the pyramid base is first changed to its own body target mass. Then to its owning assembly 2 target mass. And lastly to all or the full assembly new target mass. When changing the target mass, note the CG arrow indicator move. The indicator moves with dragging bodies as well, but beware it's only pictorial and approximate. Always use the measure mass properties for accuracy. Faces of even external files may be moved pulled to a new assembly mass. So to recap, in this example 1, to get the total mass displaying in the bomb, an owning assembly called all has been introduced with the components put underneath it. Clearly there is a disadvantage of an additional structure level and component structure alteration to achieve this. In this example 2, the bomb is shown without an additional level all, given the total mass. Faces may still be moved or pulled in a similar way, except this time mass may be measured and changed by selecting the document or file name. Whilst there's no bomb total mass constantly displaying, by placing the mass property tool in the quick access toolbar or by making a keyboard shortcut, any partial assembly mass data is easily obtained. Mass properties can be relative to other origins or axes with property data copied to clipboard for note pasting. Assemblies are usually hierarchical and so are bombs. So note, an assembly inserted into another file document is now owned by that file thus becoming an item under the top level and thereby its mass will be shown in any bomb table that has a mass column. There's other caveats and rules about bomb tables but going deeper into them now would be going off this video's subject.